Hey everybody, it's Nicole coming at you with another collective haul. Mostly all of this stuff is coming from Dollar Tree, but of course I have a couple more stores thrown in. Walmart, Ollie's, uh, Lowe's, and I think that's everywhere. But if I come across something else, I'll let you guys know. So grab yourself some coffee or some tea, a cocktail, depending on what time of day you're watching this. Um, water, soda, a snack, and let's get to hauling. But if you haven't already, let's get this out of the way. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell if you um, want to be notified of when I upload a video. So yeah, I do everything on this channel, honey. DIYs, hauling, beauty cooking, everything. So yeah, if you're into that kind of stuff, all my passions, <laughs> hit the subscribe button. So anyway, let's get started. I am enjoying some pumpkin spice coffee, um, the Starbucks brand. Um, I picked that up at Walmart, as a matter of fact. So we're going to start with Walmart. Um, you know, Walmart has marked down all their school supplies. And um, we stumbled across a couple of items. So let me show you what I picked up. I picked up this binder bundle. I got this hot pink color. My daughter got the lavender color. Those were the only two colors that my particular store had. They may have come in other colors. I don't know. This was a dollar. Um, and it comes with um, a few little items inside. And this is great. If your store still has these, if you've got like kids, teenagers, or whatever, um, you can grab these, put these up for next year because I think this is a pretty good deal. Um, you get a little ruler right here on the inside. Of course, it has a pocket on the front like this. And then one in the back, the same. And then you get the tab dividers already in here, which is a deal. And then you get this sort of pocket envelope and the divider labels right there. So I think that's pretty cool. You know, for a dollar, I'm not sure what it was um, originally, but you know, to get it for that, this is nice. And it's like really sturdy. And then you have a pocket right here on the front. So if you want to like personalize it, bling it out, whatever you want to do, you can do that with this. So yeah. So I actually got this because if you've been following me for a while, it is fall time. So that means it's fair time. So usually I'll um, set up a fair planner so that I can keep up with my recipes and um, info and stuff like that. So I grabbed that for or grabbed this for that purpose and then stumbled across this one. I had to get this y'all. It was 75 cents. And do you see how pretty that is? It's I love 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 this and they also had the matching folders these were 25 cents I'm gonna go back and get some more of these because for 25 cents this is a nice folder I got this one um, of course because it was cute and 75 cents um, but it didn't have any pockets it just has the, the three ring um, binder clips on the inside or the just three rings I guess so that's why I got the folder to go along with it so if I decided to use that uh, use this binder I could use this inside to ooh, don't mean to blind y'all um, to hold papers or recipes or whatever but the thing is making the decision on which one to use so y'all let me know down below should I use this one the binder bundle <laughs> or the blingy one um, with the silver and iridescent colors going on. So let me know down below and I will do a planner setup for the fair with whichever one gets the most votes. How about that, y'all? So yeah, all right, moving on. Walmart also had some happy planners on clearance. You know me, I am the clearance queen. That is the first aisle I'll hit in any store that I go in. So I got a couple items um, by the Happy Planner. I got a 12 month planner and this is like a student planner because it goes from July to June of next year. It was four bucks. This was regularly $20.88. So I got it for $4 and we're only in September. So I only lost a month or so, a couple months. But 
you can reuse these, you know, and you can actually reuse and recycle a lot of stuff that you don't use in a planner. Um, I'm going to do a video on that because I've done that in the past. But anywho, I picked this one up and I like it. It says, here we go in the front, shine bright. And it's a little black and white polka dot with the little pink glasses. I thought that was really cute. Um, let's see, it has a 12 month dated planner, monthly and weekly calendar pages, dividers, space for creative planning and scheduling. So for four bucks to get this happy planner stuff, girl, you know I snatched this up. I didn't need any more planners, but I am a planner junkie, honey. And I just like the setup. It is really, really nice. And it's colorful and it's fun and all that good stuff. So, yeah. Grab that for $4. Mm -hmm. Then I got a notebook. And this was $3. And it was regularly $12.88. And hopefully you can see that. Three books. And this is what... Let's see. Pull that off. This is what it looks like on the front. It says pencil it in and it's got the black polka dots with sort of a rose gold on the front and then on the back ugh, there we go it's got sort of that aqua green dot thing going on it matches the pencil <laughs> on the front and I thought this was cute and it actually goes along with the planner um, they have similar pages on the inside so I'm pretty sure it's part of the collection so I grabbed that and this actually comes with stickers um in it and here we go you get the color your own sticker sheet and then you get some of these little sort of um bullet stickers i guess you know um just little cute random stickers uh to go along with it so i thought that was adorable for three bucks and i like the fact that i could pop this in my purse um with no problem so yeah Super cute for seven bucks to get stuff like this by Happy Planner. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and sticking along with the Happy Planner theme, they had some stickers. They had this uh, sticker pad. This was $12.82 and I got it for three bucks. I can't even go in Michael's with a coupon and get any stickers for three bucks. This many stickers, should I say. Um, you get 875 pieces. It's 30 sheets. And then you get, of course, the little elastic band to keep it closed. But you get all these stickers, y'all, for $3. So I think I hit the mother load with the little Happy Planner stuff. So check your Walmart clearance out because you'd be surprised what you can't find. My Walmart had all kinds of stuff. I got a um, comforter. For seven bucks, it was like $29, I think. It was a twin size comforter. That's in another haul, you'll see that. But it was beautiful for seven bucks. Um, they had some beautiful $5 pillows, big, big throw pillows. I mean, well, my particular store. So really check your clearance aisle in Walmart. So I'm rambling. So let's move on to um, another, well, I guess we'll just go with the flow, y'all. We're just gonna enjoy this haul and chit chat and talk i'm gonna take a sip of my coffee so if it's long it's long it is what it is we're just gonna sit here and enjoy things okay still with walmart since it's right here um i got this golden well no it's not golden hot it's by andy's <laughs> but it's a gold ceramic professional press comb and it goes up to 450 degrees i had one but it was a little small and old so anyway i got another one um and it was 20 19.95 i think yeah so i grabbed that um because i needed it so yeah for my little hair videos and stuff like that all right and then i picked up some um makeup items from wet and wild um you know each year they come out with their halloween collection i'm a sucker for halloween if you follow me you know that <laughs> and i am a makeup junkie so anyway i grabbed a few items out of that collection i didn't get everything because i don't need any more makeup i say that all the time and i'm actually trying to purge some now with my little mystery box sale so i'll link a um 
I'll put a post. I'll post a link <laughs> to that video down below if you're interested in getting one of the mystery boxes. Okay, so I picked up a lipstick. This is so cool. It's a cute little green color. I'm gonna see how this looks on me. Um, but anyway, this color is called Booga Booga. <laughs> cute name booga booga anyway i picked up booga booga and it was a dollar 98 and then i got this other green liquid catsuit lipstick it's a it's a, one of their mega last lipsticks and this one is witch please <laughs> cute but this is it it's a pretty little um sort of olive green color so i'm gonna try these two greens out then I got a couple of their multi-sticks, so you could use this pretty much for anything. Um, this one is in green, so I'm on this green kick, and I don't know if you can see the actual... There we go. There's the color. Well, okay, there we go. Pretty green color. And then I got this color, which is orange, I think it was. No, this is red. And there's the red. It looks like orange right here, but it's actually red. And then I got this color right here, which is orange. So we're going to see how these work. I'll come back in another video um, using these. And I actually recorded the comparison video that you guys were saying y'all wanted to see with the LA Colors lip toppers. So, yeah, look out for that one. Okay, let me see. I better start putting stuff out of the way so I won't re-grab the bags. Oh, and then I picked up a palette, just one. I was tempted to get them all, but I don't need it. This one is called The Boo Crew, and this one has some beautiful shades of blue, greens, and browns in it. You see that? Isn't that pretty? Ooh, I can't wait to play with this one. That one is gorgeous. I tried to get something that I didn't already kind of have similar colors so yeah i got that palette okay and that was wet and wild um items then i picked up a couple of nail polishes those were weird um, this one my nail samples in the store <laughs> now these are from sinful colors and these are the velvet matte colors or from the velvet matte line and the first color is steel velours um and this is what it looks like and actually it's starting to chip off my nail but this is ooh, don't mean to shoot you a bird but that's the color right here hopefully it'll focus kind of sort of but that's the color and this is it right here so yeah my nails look terrible but we were sampling them <laughs> in the store and then the next color i got was dark romance and this is so pretty i think this would be gorgeous for fall and dark romance is on that same finger oops and that's it right there let's see so i actually had a little sample i hate the way my nail looks but yeah there it is so that's both colors right here on this finger so hopefully it will zoom in yeah there they go so pretty colors for fall and it's like a good combination together my nails look horrible and they had this color right here so these are all the colors we were sampling on. <laughs> even that see i have all the colors that they had on my hand but anyway go check out the simple colors velvet um matte polishes okay let's see so that was walmart and here i've got this right here this is lowe's i actually went to lowe's to get a key made one and then i picked up some wood for some diys um which i'm not going to show you the wood until it's time for the diy but i picked up some wood and had it cut to size and then i found some clearance spray paint so i got this color right here this is called gloss pumpkin orange it's a gloss obviously and it's in pumpkin orange so i got that and then i got the flat white um they had a bunch of colors they were on clearance i think was it 388 or something like that so i got a couple of these um for some diys and just to have basically around the house 
And that was what I got from Lowe's along with the wood, of course. Okay, then let's see, what is this? This is Ollie's. Okay, so Ollie's is right here next to me. And sticking with the spray paint, they had some, some, um, well, I guess you can call it spray paint. This one is the Plastic Fusion spray paint. And this one is a Silver Shimmer. I'm trying to find the name of it. I don't see it. Usually they have names. It's just saying Textured Shimmer. So it's a pretty silver. So I'm going to try this out and see how it works. I've actually used something similar, but not in this color. Um... And not by the brand. So, we're going to see how this one works out. So, it's supposed to be like what's on the cap. So, we got that one. And then I got some Valspar spray paint. But this is a uh, texture one as well. And this one is in sandstone. And hopefully, you can see the texture on the top. You crafters know. Because, honey, y'all have done these things a million times, I'm sure, in the past. Or used them before. But, I don't know if you can see that. There we go. There's the texture. But... I like these. I actually did a couple pumpkins using a different um, color and brand a couple um, years ago. So I'll post a link to that video down below if you're interested. And I actually have a fall um, video playlist. I think I'll do that. I'll just list that down below so that you can check that out. But anyway, I grabbed these from Ollie's. So put those in there and then also from Ollie's I found this um scents and spray the Airwick was actually the Airwick Fresh Matic well, let me get it mixed up with Glade <laughs> the uh essential oils um Fresh Matic and this one is in pumpkin spice you know of course the time of year but it was a dollar 99 you know these aren't a dollar 99 in the store so I got this because it comes with the sprayer and the actual um scent um refill so yeah i got that for dollar 99 so you're paying a dollar for each pretty much so that was a deal i should have got a couple more of them because i really like you know you want your house to smell good when you, i like it to smell good for me not just other people when i come in the house i want it to smell good so that's why i try to keep stuff like that on hand okay so i guess we can move into good old dollar tree hunty so Let's get to it. So, have a few items from, well, not a few, honey. I got a lot. Okay, so, first thing we're going to start with is some beauty items. Some new beauty items, as a matter of fact. So, I got this under eye massager, and it looks like that. Isn't that cute? It's so cute. And then, you know, at my age, honey, you know, you got to start doing a few little extra steps to keep yourself looking good. And I hope that's not the guy delivering my lawnmower, especially when I'm in the middle of this video. But you know how folks do. When you get started doing something, they want to come in and just interrupt and disrupt the whole program. But we're going to keep it pushing. <laughs> Anywho... Got the under eye massager. Um, I got it in this pink color because I actually got. Let me see where is it. Yeah, here it is. This to match. This is a silicone facial mask applicator. So it looks like this. And these are new items. Um, so I got this to match because I do do uh, a charcoal face mask um, that I that's by um, Shea Moisture. And so instead of scooping my finger in there and putting it on, I'm going to use this. So, yeah, I got the little set. Do myself a little pampering facial. Then I found the electronic nail kit. So I'm super excited about finding this because I actually have a professional one that I got. And um, I have another one sort of like drugstore kind of uh, level. And I'm going to um, actually do a comparison of the three. If y'all want to see that, give me a thumbs up. Let me know down below so that we can see how this compares to those. Um, since this is battery operated, it, one, it runs on one AA battery. So, we're going to see how that works out, y'all. So, I grabbed those. Alright. Then I picked up some of those brushes that they had 
Um, I got one of each that my store had, which are these. You remember folks were paying 400 and some odd bucks a few years ago for a set of these things. And then everybody came out with them. And here they are in good old Dollar Tree for a dollar each. So, yep, I got one of each. And I actually like these, using these types of brushes. A lot of people didn't or they couldn't get the swing of them. I actually do like these. Because I actually have one of the more expensive sets in my collection. Then I picked up some of the nail items. I finally found the nail soak off caps, which look like this. I don't get my nails done or do those, you know, the acrylics or gels anymore. Um, it just got to the point where it was just, it wasn't so much too expensive. It's just you have to just keep them up and finding the time to go and get them done and all this stuff Ugh. so I got these um, to actually you know if I decide to do it myself or just to take off you know polish you know nail polish gel polish should I say when I do use that because I do and then um, here is the little gel tool or the what is it called the gel polish removal tool and I was super excited to see that because you don't necessarily just have to use this to remove gel polish you can use this to actually push your cuticles back and maintain your nails keep you know clean underneath and stuff like that so that's why I grabbed one of these as well so Dollar Tree's kind of stepping this game up honey when it comes to certain things I'm just hoping they don't step them prices up like everybody's saying because they will eventually that's inevitable because there I was reading some articles about the um, investors that have invested in Dollar Tree and stuff like that are pushing for them to raise their prices and then with all these tariffs and stuff you know I think eventually they will do that but anyway that's a whole nother video so okay let's see what else we got I picked up the rest of the lip toppers because I only got two that I showed y'all in the last haul. So I picked up the rest of them because I really like them. <laughs> so I grabbed those and here they are. And I'm not going to swatch these because, you know, like I said, I'm going to do that little comparison video thingy. Y'all get a chance to see that. So picked those up and then I got some just you know things that are repurchases I got some more toothbrushes and then I got some mailing tape for my little Poshmark um closet and I'm gonna put that link down below too so check out my Poshmark <laughs> as well okay then I grabbed some of the LA Colors nails, the artificial nails. And I got these, I got these last year because I love the color combination, the red and the black. And these are called Stranger, and this is a short length, so it's a good active length. They won't get in the way. And, uh, because I do a lot in my hands and I can't stand the popping off and the getting in the way kind of stuff anymore. So I got those. I got two. Two, uh, because you all, you know, you always need two packs because they never have enough of the right sizes to use. Okay, then I picked up again this like repurchases and stuff. So I got some ah, this Irish Spring. So I love the smell of this. Just opening it up and putting it in your bathroom makes your bathroom smell good. It's just that that scent. I love that scent of Irish Spring. <laughs> but anyway, I got this little two pack in the original scent. And then I got, again, this repurchase for my hair, the Argan Oil Hair Moisturizer, the Triple Strength Moisturizer. Okay. <laughs> I cracked me up. Anyway, my hair likes this. I use this every day, so I go through several bottles of these um, a month. Uh, so I, when I see them, I just grab them. I grabbed that. Then I found the Pantene, I, let me see, Pantene Intense Hydration Shampoo. I was hoping I'd find the conditioner. Of course, they had the, um, the in-shower conditioners that they had, the Herbal Essence, and then they had the Pantene one, so they got these in. Um, so I grabbed one of these. I'm going to keep a lookout. Maybe I'll find the um, conditioner. So I'm going to try this out and see how it works on my hair and I mean it's a nice little sample size for you know a dollar okay so oops 
more ollies. Yeah, I have some more ollies. So perfect. They had some really nice um, fall candles or fall scented candles. This one is by Patriot Candles, and this is cinnamon and nutmeg, and it was two ninety nine, and they're saying the original price is seven ninety nine. It's a nice little three wick candle, and. It smells really good. It smells like fall, cinnamon, and nutmeg. So I got that. You know, the ambience of a candle makes you feel good. And then to have a nice little fall scent going when you're decorating and crafting for fall or just watching a nice little cozy movie. Just having this around and burning. <sighs> Puts you in the mood. So excited for fall. Okay, then I got this one. And this is by Candlelight Company. Um... And this one's Autumn Twilight Sky, and it says it's a limited edition. My daughter liked this one. She got one, too. And this one is $2.99, regularly $4.99. It's a three-week as well. Looks like that. And, oh, it smells good. It's Autumn Twilight Sky. It smells like a nice autumn night a crisp autumn night you know we don't get a whole lot of those here but when that nice little chills in the air <sighs> that's what that smells like so i got that one and that's a pretty good deal you know i love bath and body works candles don't get me wrong but when i get something that smells just as good or cheaper and it gives me the same feelings and effects i'm all for it honey. <laughs> okay so, Michaels, I knew it was another store. I got some Michaels bags. Michaels sent me an email. Well, if you're on their mailing list, make sure you, well, email list. Make sure you sign up. Um, they sent an email saying that their candles were 5 for $10. I always stock up on their candles when they're 5 for 10 because they have a really, really nice candle. Um, it burns slow. It has a really nice scent almost compare i think it's comparable to the uh, bath and body works but they're not as strong they're not potent so it's a scent that you can actually live with because some of those bath and body works candles can be a little too strong if you know what i mean but anyway they have some really nice candles and then you have some nice jars to recycle <laughs> when they burn so it's the ashland brand of course so i got um and they're 17 ounces so to get a 17 ounce candle five for ten bucks you can't beat that so i got cypress wood and it smells really good and oh my god this is so ball oh <sighs> I can't, the, the fun part is deciding on which one to burn. But anyway, of course you get, you know, a nice jar and a nice size. Love that. And I like to burn these. I mean, of course you want to light the wick sometimes, but I like to put these on the wax, on the candle, you know, melter, burner, whatever, um, sometimes. And it just, oh, it smells so good. Ah, love it. Okay, this one is Woodland Leaves. And it just smells like a fresh fall morning and you kind of walk across a little crunchy leaf. Mm -mm -mm. I'm telling y'all, when you see these, especially when they're 5 for 10, get them. These are well worth the money. Okay, Autumn Walk is the next one. And it just smells like you're walking through like a, a park or... In my neck of the woods, my yard, basically. Oh, it's got that sort of hint of pine and leaves. and oh, 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 it smells so good. The next one I got, pumpkin spice chai. And it smells like, oh my gosh. This reminds me of something from my childhood, like a, a nice candy that would come out in the fall i don't know it's not a candy corn kind of candy i don't know i mean I'm, you know, I'm up there in age but it just reminds me of some fresh candy that you'd get in your trick-or-treat bag you know nowadays all that crap they got the sour whatever's this is like an old-fashioned candy i just can't place what it is but that's what this smells like a nice kitchen scent or a nice scent to put in the kitchen you know, to evoke the senses in there. 
And then the last one is ginger cookie. Oh. <sighs> mm, smells so good. This one can transition into clips. Sorry about that. My camera stops after so long. But anyway. Oh, it just smells like, I mean, it smells like ginger cookies. So, yeah. So, again, Michael's Candles, the Ashland brand, the 17 ounce. Grab them when you see them, y'all. I like to stock up because I burn candles all the time. Ugh. Okay, moving on. Sticking with Michael's, as a matter of fact. Again, like I said earlier, I go to the craft <clears throat> or the clearance section they have a as is clearance section and then they have the regular clearance section so these items came from both this is from the as is meaning it was open something's missing or it's damaged in some sort of way or whatever and they discount it so this is an exacto razor saw set i'm not sure what's missing out of it um usually sometimes they'll tell you but this one got marked down to 350 so it must be missing something because it was 14 dollars so i'm looking at it it looks like everything it's pretty much intact i could use it but something's probably missing but anyway it's all taped up and that's what it looks like or it just could be the packaging was like really crappy let's see it says it comes with hold on lord i should have brought some glass one handle and two blades so looks like two blades are in here and the handle so somebody may have opened it up or something but we'll see for 350 so that's a nice tool to have in the craft room so that's why i grabbed it and then in the as is section oops something fell out too you know what did that come out of there i don't know what that is it may have i don't know anyway in the as is section i think no this is clearance okay so from the clearance section i got two of these uh bezels it's just jewelry bezels they were 3.99 and i got it for a dollar 99 for just jewelry making you get a silver a gold and a sort of bronzy antique one you can see that so yeah there they are so you get one of each and you can just fill these with different um materials be it um Oh gosh, I can't think of the stuff. But anything, beads, you know, all types of, you know, polymer clay if you want to use that. Um, they have liquid fillers, resin, whatever. Just if you're a crafter, you know what I'm talking about, honey. <laughs> so I got that. I always try to get stuff like that on clearance. Okay, and then I got some cinnamon oil. This is um, by Lauren. Lauren, yeah, Lauren Gourmet. I usually get the Wilton brand, but they had these on clearance, and this was down uh, to 247 from 499. So I did a video, and oh, Lord, if I could find that one, um, but I think it's in one of my Christmas playlists. I'm not sure, but if I could find the video, I'll post it below. But I make a cinnamon crack candy during the holidays um and i use the cinnamon oil to flavor it and it is so good um you can use any kind of flavor to make it but the original recipe that i got was for cinnamon oil so that's why i picked that up because i got it on point. so that's michael's okay let's see i think yeah that's it so we're going back into dollar tree <laughs> Oh, from Dollar Tree. I found these beautiful amber um, plastic wine goblets or glasses or whatever. They are so pretty. And I'm pretty sure this was like spring and summer. But that beautiful amber color is gorgeous. So I'm going to use this on my bar for fall. I think this is so pretty. And they had, in this particular store, six left. So I bought all six of them because that's my place settings on my tables anyway. So I got six of these. So I just brought one so that I could show y'all. But that color is beautiful. I mean, do y'all see that? <laughs> and I think they'll go good. You know, these will go good with those um, plastic plates that they have for fall, too. So, just a thought. If you see those in your store, grab those. 
And I picked up these. I picked up two sets of these. Um, this is a Sure Fresh. Sure, girl, I can't talk. The Sure Fresh um, plastic containers with the screw tops. I got these for the fair when I'm taking things, ingredients, and stuff like that. These are coming handy because they seal good if something tips over or whatever. They won't leak. So I got two sets of these to have and then just to have as regular food storage around the house afterwards. Okay. Oh, from Dollar Tree because I set these aside. I found these cute little pom-pom pins. Um, my daughter got the lavender one with the gold dots to go with her lavender binder um, bundle from Walmart and I got this one to actually go along with this one and I think that's a cute little combination it's just pink with the gold dots I think that's cute and then they had the aqua one that pretty blue kind of color um pom-pom to go I mean well, I didn't get it but it would go with a lot of stuff too so yeah I got that to go along with this if I or y'all decide for me to use it i wish they had a blingy one but i got plenty of bling pens honey so that won't be a problem <laughs> to go along with the bling binder if y'all choose that one they had the cutest stickers so i got these these look like stickers you get from um michaels and i think they do carry the sticko brand if i'm not mistaken but do y'all see these these are so cute they are the baked food themed stickers i got these i have a recipe planner that just for every day and then i also got um a couple extra to go in my um fair planner i got a couple more but aren't they cute you get like the rolling pin sticker you get the measuring so i think this is so cute measuring spoons you get the little milk flour um sugar little cookie pan oven mitt these are so cute i had to get these so yeah i got those as well okay oh i swear ollie's just keeps popping up y'all okay ollie's has a lot of the ass seen on tv stuff so I decided I was going to try this out. This is the Hurricane Spin Broom. Um, it was $5.99. And it, on TV, I think they advertised for $19.95 or whatever. Um, and then, but wait. For a little fee, you can get two. <laughs> but not in Ollie's. I got this for $5.99. So I'm going to try this out and see how it works. I'm going to do a video so y'all can see too. Um, but... I said I would try it and see how this works. For five bucks, I'll try it for five bucks. Okay, that's Ollie's, and I think that is it from Ollie's. Back to Dollar Tree. Picked up some items to do some DIY with. Um, so, let's see. Where we'll start. First thing, I got a couple of these little lanterns. They have several little cute little Chotsky kind of lanterns. I call them Chotskys because they're little tiny little things. Um, but I got this kind. It's sort of like the little conductor's lanterns. So I got two of these. They had the silver sort of, the ones with the little brush silver paint on it. And then they had the ones with those sort of brushed kind of bronzy gold color as well. So I got the silver because I'm a silver kind of girl. <laughs> okay. Then, oh, and I found another little puff pen, and this is for Christmas. It's got Santa Claus. Ooh, girl, I just pulled Santa off. They show you just how cheap they are. <laughs> That's okay. But, yeah, Santa's like, it was supposed to be right there, but I pulled him off, so. Oops. But, anyway, it's still cute. I'm going back, but I actually like it by itself. But yeah, so we can use Santa for a craft or something. How about that? So a two for one. <laughs> anyway, so I got that pen. And then I picked these up. These are for my daughter. And if y'all haven't, check out her channel. She uploaded her first video. Well, I had a little nervous self in that video. So I'm going to post a link to her channel down below. Check her out and show her some love and some support. But I got her these because she's going to do some DIYs with these. And we had went to another Dollar Tree and they didn't have all the colors. So when I saw these, um, I grabbed these for her. 
So I got those. <clears throat> oh, and they are just, you know, fur craft stems. I don't know if I said that or not, but yeah. <laughs> okay. And then I picked up some of these hand lettering pens. You have a fine tip and a chisel tip in here. And I thought that was kind of cool for a buck. So I got those. My nails look terrible. That's what I get for testing stuff out. Okay. Um, yeah. So you get two in there. And they're in just the black ink. And then I picked up another one of these Avery um, glue sticks. I love these glue sticks, y'all. They're well worth the dollar. I love these better than the um, Elmer's glue sticks. They're just nice. These are like adult glue sticks to me. So I got one of these. They used to come in the, well, they still do. Well, my store still has them. But they come in, you know, the plastic bags now. But they used to be on like the little hanging card. So I got one of those. And then I got some of these key tags, which look like that. <sighs> and then I got the colored key tags that look like that as well. I actually got these to make some planner um, accessories for my planners. Got some more Mod Podge. Um, I think I'm just going to invest and get a big thing of Mod Podge because now I'm finding myself using it a lot more. Um, I'm just going to use a coupon or something at Michael's and just get some big ones. But I got the Gloss Mod Podge, um, one of the small ones from Dollar Tree. Then I found a couple of nice books, y'all. I got Hugh Johnston's Pocket Wine Book because I love me some wine. Um, so it's just like a little pocket wine guide. Um, and for a dollar, I thought it was good. Just gives you all the definitions and, you know, different info on wine. So this is a great little handy something to have around. This would be great to kind of help accessorize your bar cart if you keep wine on it. It's a nice tabletop, you know, uh, book as well. So I got that. And then, oh, glitter's everywhere. It's always that glitter off of something. Okay, so then I got this one. <sighs> This one is Delicious Gifts. It's edible creations to make and give. So we do have the holidays coming. And I do like to make gifts sometimes. Edible gifts. So I got this. And it's a beautiful book. Really pretty. This would be great to be on your countertop or on your hutch in the kitchen. Um, very pretty book. So I got that. And it's got some nice recipes in it. I was looking at them. Stories. Um, beautiful. Um, beautiful book. So love the photography. So, yep. I grabbed that one. All right, so I guess we can get into some of the fun stuff like DIY. Um, Why well, still we went through some DIY items, but some of the home decor, holiday decor items. So I picked up a couple more of these um, glitter picks. That's where all the glitter's coming from. <laughs> so I got those, and then I got the little. Let me tap the glitter back in the bag. I got one of these um, pumpkin topiary signs, kind of, sort of. And these are the ones a lot of people are DIYing on the back, making them reversible. You can make it into a snowman. I just like it. I think it's cute. And it's orange and black, which is my little Halloween color scheme. I do like, you know, some of the over-the-top stuff. But... Um, the color scheme overall is orange and black. I'm into the macabre kind of Halloween stuff. Not the, you know, all goods and stuff. I mean, I do like that kind of stuff sometimes. It just depends on how I'm feeling that particular Halloween. <laughs> if that makes sense. Okay. So, I picked up some ornaments because I'm going to be doing two Halloween trees. And look forward to those videos, like I said. Hit the subscribe button so you will see because I do trees. I love me some trees, honey. I have like, I put up five Christmas trees. If you've been following me, you've seen those. So anyway, I got some ornaments uh, for the Halloween trees. I got the black spiders. And I'm so glad they started coming out with Halloween ornaments. And then I got some of the skulls. Y'all know, if you've been following me, I'm obsessed with skulls. And they're not bad. Okay. We all have one. It's a part of the human form. So, got me some skulls. <laughs> then I got some of the witch hat stickers. 
for crafting. So, yeah, these are really cute. So, I got those. And then I also got some of the wooden color your own ones for some DIYs. Um, and these are nice. You get five ornaments for a book. Because I know if you get the individual, like, laser cutouts and Michaels, they're like a dollar forty nine. some of them. Just depending on what they are. They're not in this size range. So, to get five of them for a book... Dollar Tree, y'all got it going on, honey. Okay, then I got some of the black and white garland. Black and white. Orange and white garland. And I like this because it's not tinsel. It's just plastic. And it's not shiny or cheapy looking. I love this. Love this. <laughs> love the color. So I got two of those. And then... For the trees, ooh, stuff sticking. I don't know where that came from. They're right there. I got some of these um, orange and black picks, the pumpkin picks, and then they have the little ball ornaments. So I got these. I got several of these packs of ornaments with the bats and the cats, um, with the glitter balls on them. And then I also got some chenille stems. And I'm going to show you um, what I'm going to do with these. These are so pretty. I like these. But anyway, I got some chenille stems. And that tinsel orangey kind of color. Oops. I'm trying to keep everything together so when I put it up, I won't be rambling. Then I got some of the Christmas ornaments, which I'm still going to use these for Halloween, though. I got the, um, because they have Christmas out. <laughs> I got the gold with the, um, brushed gold ornaments and the glitter ball. And then I got the smaller versions of them as well. A couple of packs of those. And why y'all didn't tell me Dollar Tree got this cute ribbon in, honey? Because this ribbon looks like high end. Um,. Halloween ribbon. I got the pretty, these are gorgeous. This is like the gold and black pumpkin um, ribbon. You see how pretty that is? Oh my gosh. I hope y'all can see that. That is so pretty. It looks like some of that ribbon you get from like Hobby Lobby or Michaels. That is pretty for a dollar. So I got two of these. And then they had the, and I probably have another roll somewhere floating, but they had this one, which is the black, white, and gold spiderweb ribbon. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh, you see that? For a dollar. So, yep. Dollar Tree got going on this year. I can't wait to see what else they're going to come out with. Hopefully, they're going to come out with some more stuff for the holidays. Because um, they're impressing me. Then I picked up one of the white trees. Um, these go fast. So, I grabbed one because a couple stores I went in didn't have them. They just had the green. So, when I found some white ones, I grabbed them. I have some of these in my stash. But I have something in mind that I want to do before I go to my Christmas stash so I got one of those and okay here's the other bag with the ribbon forgive me y'all I'm trying to stick it all in here together okay so I found this now I got glitter on my face <laughs> okay anyway I found some sheet moss I've never, my stores never got this in and I was in a store that I don't frequent often and they had one of them left one just floating so i grabbed it and i'm gonna um actually use this with my christmas village this works these work really good for like haunted village you know you know landscaping so i got one of these i wish i could find some more somewhere but yeah i grabbed that i finally found the wood numbers and letters my stores did not get them in and again i went to a store that I don't frequent and found them so i just grabbed a couple packs of each so i got one each of the letters and one each of the wooden numbers and these will always come in handy i don't know what i'm going to do with them as of yet but i'm sure i'll find out or find something to do down the road 
then I got another one of the little haunted houses that's on the stand and then I got the big one that's just like a big ornament if you will so I got those and then mixing in Christmas I got Santa and these are nice for a dollar this is really nice for a dollar with the raised sort of 3d effect I got him and this is so cute um I'm not too much into stuff like this I rarely get like I bought the pumpkins because I was intending to DIY I used one in my decor but they have these the little wooden blocks or the particle board blocks I guess I don't know yeah press board whatever it is but this one's so cute because it has the happy holidays with the red truck and the Christmas trees I just thought this was so cute so country I want to say farmhouse <laughs> so country and it has the full like galvanized um, top with the jute tied around the top so I think this will be cute in my kitchen somewhere for the holidays because I do have the red and black going on is my decor this year in the kitchen so I got that for the purpose of using it with those or with my other Christmas stuff and then I got some of the Christmas stickers the uh, DIY stickers so I got one of each that I saw so I got this one with the stockings and the candy canes and the mittens and then I got this one with the snowflakes the golden um, glitter stars and the Christmas tree and this one has the snowflakes with the green tree with the glitter and the presents so these are nice these are great to go on presents and stuff like that not just for like you know DIY purposes but you know if you do Christmas cards and things like that these are great for that purpose your planners you know you can use it for all sorts of things then I picked up some of these red sort of raised kind of bubble letters they're dimensional sticker letters and this is by the sticko brand too and I think these really are in Michaels if I'm not mistaken so I got two packs of these because these are pretty these would be great for the holidays because of that red color so that's why I grabbed these and they only had two in that particular store so I got those two because you always need more than one pack of alphabet stickers and I found one of the buffalo check uh tote bags for DIY uh, this is definitely for Christmas for me um, I, I mean I like buffalo check but y'all wear me out with that buffalo check stuff <laughs> I'm just saying you know be an individual I'm just saying y'all anyway <laughs> but I got this because my theme is always red and black in my kitchen it has always been that so I got that for a DIY then I hit the clearance aisle in my Dollar Tree. They actually have a little clearance section in my Dollar Trees and they have like damaged stuff or, you know, stuff getting close to the exp expiration date in there. So they had a couple of fall items that were marked down to 50 cents. So I got these pumpkins, which is missing a pumpkin. Um, so I got that. They're two, four dollars, you can see. And I got this, which is the pumpkin, you know, the pumpkin stand. It was, somebody probably broke it off. It fell off the shelf or something. So I got this one. So they both, you know, together were a dollar. So check out Dollar Tree. They have clearance too. I know one year I racked up with um, Halloween clearance in one of my stores. They had them like, you know, 25 cents each stuff, you know, four for a dollar kind of stuff. So... Dollar Tree has clearance too. Then I picked up some of the creepy cloth again for some Halloween DIYs. The chain, which y'all see all the time for Halloween DIYs. Um, a couple of the skulls. I have a bunch of these, but you know I'm obsessed with them anyway. But I don't quite want to dig in my Halloween box as of yet. And I kind of want to get this DIY done. So I went ahead and bought two of these skulls. And they've changed over the years. I actually posted last year on Instagram how they've changed. <laughs> They're getting better. They were really like cheapy looking, but they've actually improved on these skulls over the years. So, had to get them, y'all. <laughs> and then I got the babies. The little babies. 
for some DIYs. So, yeah, then I picked up, of course, some AA batteries because, you know, you can never have too many batteries. And then I got some ribbon. I actually got some more ribbon in the bag. But this, this is just happened to be. It's that pretty orange with the gold sort of um, filigree look to it. Really pretty. It looks like, it really looks like high-end ribbon. Um, I don't need Dollar Tree. They listening. They watching all those videos. They ain't sponsoring no videos, but they watching some of those videos um, with all that free advertisement y'all doing. But anyway, I'm just saying, I ain't throwing no shade on you, Dollar Tree, but y'all could toss some stuff to these people doing all this free, you know, advertising for y'all. I'm just saying. <laughs> and I ain't talking about me. I'm talking about these big time YouTubers who are doing all these Dollar Tree DIYs. All right now. Anyway, I got this um, little Halloween sign, and this one just says the Black Hat Society. Join our Black Hat Society again because of the orange and black. And this image is like one of those free images. You can find this image on um, Google. If you want to do DIYs, this is one of those free images that you can download and create your own um you know DIYs with because a lot of people who sell merchandise actually use those images like I was looking at Tim Holtz's collection you know and he has a lot of those free images that you see in his collection of stuff that he sells and I just thought that was uh, interesting you know I like Tim Holtz I actually buy some of his stuff I buy a lot of his stuff as a matter of fact to use but y'all I'm just saying it's just a tip if you're a DIYer and then I picked up a couple of these signs, and I think these are so nice. This one is the black, red, or well, it's more orangey. I don't know why I'm saying red. Black, orange, and um, white. I think this is so cute. It'll go along with my Halloween theme, and I love, love, love this one, the sayings. And then this one is the, the sort of cream, black, and orange with the galvanized pumpkin i really wanted this one in my stores and get it and again i had to go to a store that i don't go to and it's actually in a rural area so they had a lot of um halloween items that i couldn't find here locally and then i got this came from dollar i mean from walmart i just came across it but it's just some skull napkins you know <laughs> they were 98 cents so i got the thumbnail <laughs> I cracked myself up and they were 98 cents like I said so I got those okay <laughs> you have to enjoy yourself I'm sorry anyway I got the fleece blankets the um, check fleece blankets I got four of these um, for um, a DIY that I'm gonna do I got that and let me see make sure this is all the bags i think we have wind did it up here wound it up yep that's it that's all my stuff y'all we made it to the end i was having so much fun and i didn't even realize it so that is it for my haul hope y'all guys enjoyed it i hope you like this little chit chatty kind of format with my haul you know it makes it super long but we get to spend so much time together and like i always say it is what it is so yeah we had a nice little chit chat we enjoyed our little beverages some together so yeah um again i've got some videos coming up uh diys i actually have some product reviews that i need to do too um i got a couple of um wigs to review um like i said products to review and a lot of diys and some decorating videos and stuff and um vlogs as a matter of fact so i'm super excited about that I'm trying to get into my groove y'all so that's gonna do it again if you like these videos let me know down below because i'm trying to switch things up make it more interesting for you guys um and just enjoying the process of these youtube videos and yeah so hit the notification bell and subscribe so that you could come along for this wonderful ride with me 
<laughs> and until my next video, I will see y'all then. Bye.